Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi. Um, in this live, uh, BS Live, I will be taking you through the process of um, turning a 3D logo into um, a spinning 3D logo for augmented reality. So let me show you what's what we have at the moment. So I have this uh, snail.dae. This is, um, I think, my assets for the one that I've been using for SceneKit. Previously, I need to make an app to turn it into AR, but uh, with AR Quick Look iOS 12, this will be a lot easier. Um, we can just simply turn it into USDZ file format and we can just uh, send it to someone and that person can look at it in 3D. So let's just get started. I will be using Blender 2.79 for this um, because 2.79 still have a lot more import export. 2.8 is still alpha, so. So I'm gonna import the Colada DAE. If I'm not wrong, this DAE is actually perhaps slightly processed already. So let me quickly open it. So it, it looks like um, it's got faceted. So let me save this first. So file save as uh, snail. Um, Take. Okay, let me think. Actually, file save as snail spin demo. Whenever I get a three objects, I usually check it first um, whether this is correct. I, I just gonna tap hotkey control 2 and looks like something is not quite right with this uh, 3d objects it seems to be has been triangulated and separated on each face it looks pretty cool but uh, that's not what we want so control 2 is of course applying um, sub subsurf into this object so I will go to hit tab go to edit mode and select all these and then just remove double Remove double will merge all the all the vertices that's close together. So now we have a proper um, mesh. I'm gonna delete the subsurf. Just keep it low res. So we're gonna have this 3D logo, and we're gonna somewhat somewhat turn it into nice USDZ with a maybe nice material. And and we're gonna spin it. But uh, at the moment, if we spin this guy, it's gonna spin on that point and I don't really like it I like to spin it at exactly at the center so I'm gonna hit spacebar set origin to geometry so it's gonna center it and then I will do alt G now this snail is uh, totally centered properly but uh, if we want to turn it into um, USDZ and then we want to see it correctly we, we need to put it on the ground so I'm gonna lift this guy up. Lift this up until we can see the grid. So that means this character is on the floor. Save this and I'm gonna save it into a new version. And with USDZ, if this character is gonna be spinning, uh, you will see that the the contact shadow will be a little bit strange as it is spinning. So in order to prevent that. We want to have a cylinder, so I'm gonna create just a basic cylinder. So I just keep it at the default. I'm just gonna turn on the generate UV. So where is our cylinder? It's over there because our 3D cursor, it's being placed on where the 3D cursor is. But that's okay. We're just gonna Alt G, and with this guy selected, I will scale it. And then S Z to scale it in Z. And the same thing, I will just put this on the ground like that. And then also the snail should be on the floor. View front view photographic. Just eyeball it. So we have our snail with a with a base. So that's a uh, that should be all right. Now we can 
we can name this properly so base and this is the snail snail uh, geom and then this is base geom oops uh, base geom snail geom this guy already have material I just gonna get rid of it so they both now do not have material or oh, maybe it's a good idea to just assign the material uh, let me call it a uh, simple material so there's a number two there that means the material is being used by the two objects now they are ready to be exported uh, for this one might we give it a little bit detailing bevel apply okay cool okay file export obj selection only and call it a uh, snail spin and I will put a snail spin into a folder so snail spin obj is there a material that comes with it go to the desktop okay snail spin I will just gonna put it inside a folder call it snail spin demo and can hide all these and snail spin demo that's I will open a terminal at that folder so the quickest way is to just make the USDZ right away that's what I'm always doing at least for now XC run this is gonna be um, calling the X code USDZ converter and then convert the snail spin obj to snail spin usdz with val and the uh, help so it's gonna be converting the whole thing with the material it's gonna try its best uh, and we're gonna see the result right away okay that's our usdz but it, it is not gonna be spinning uh, it's gonna spin uh, if uh, if I show you the example so P, uh, Pixar USD there is an example that's kind of uh, showing you how to spin um, how to animate this uh, top spinner so if you went through the whole thing it is actually you need to install the uh, the USD module Python module and then you are running all this step the most important is actually step three but you need to run every every step because each step actually generates something so the first step is generating the stage and then put the there's like a transform called top and then the second one okay generates a uh, 192 frames and prepend the uh, pre prepend the uh, pre reference the top objects and then spin it this is number step number three is actually spinning it anyhow if you run the whole thing you will end up with USDA this is the USDA you can just copy paste uh, into whatever you're doing so in this case I'm just gonna copy this and I will open my sublime text just gonna paste it here I, I already have it here step three USDA but I just gonna paste it again here save as uh, save it on my desktop I just call it a step 3 demo USDA so suddenly you can see the syntax syntax highlighting so the first one really uh, is just telling you there's 192 frames up axis is Z and then you have this uh, referencing that this uh, this uh, spin top model we don't have that don't worry we can skip that and then all this um, you just need to modify it um, slightly so you can see my version is uh, running it at 360 frame 
the up axis is still Z, but the the rotate spin is uh, ro changed to Y. Depending on your model, Blender Z axis is actually up. This is the strange things about Blender Z axis up. Sometimes it confuses uh, other app, but it's, it's okay. It, you can work with it. So I will just be using the one uh, I'm using here. This is 0 to 360, that means 360 frame, and then 1440 is for the rotate spin in degree. So, yeah. First of all, with our, let's go back to our snail. So, currently we have this snail USDZ, but we, ha we have intermediate USDA. This is the one that's important. Just gonna drop it here. Gonna uh, close everything else. So this is our snail model with the base. You can actually see there's a snail, snail geom, and this base with the base geometry is now becoming a single function. Let's just call it like that. The material is empty though. This is a little bit strange, but uh, it makes sense. You can actually assign the material later. Okay, so I can actually collapse this all these functions so everything becomes like a functions and then you can sort of link the materials into the, the geometry very very easily first uh, what we want to do here is copy paste from the usda uh, that the spinning example from pixar copy this part and uh, the top part we only have this default frame base base geom doesn't matter i think we just override it I will save it as a new file, however. Snail spin and just call it snail spin x dot USDA. We have the uh, the mesh snail. Um, we, we can delete the material because it's empty. And we're just gonna copy this part, paste it here. This one actually will create a transform and call it top. There is a prepend reference. We don't need to use that. We're just going to copy paste this guy into this mesh. By doing this, what's really happened is that uh, it's going to be parented. So we have the transform node and we are parenting the mesh base and the mesh uh, snail. On top of the transform nodes. Okay, took took a while. Sometimes with Sublime Text Three because I'm using the free version. So this one will rotate the top geometry. So you can see it. X form operator rotate in the Z, spin it um, with this setup. Okay, save it. Go back to our terminal. Instead of using snail spin dot obj, we will be simply using the USDA. I'm gonna just call it snail spin with X. If everything works properly, this guy is now supposed to be spinning. Um, the orientation looks wrong here, but uh, hopefully I'm doing it correctly. And I will be using the Refractor app and I will use my iPhone 7 Plus. So not my not the latest iPhone. And turn on screen mirroring. And I will airdrop this. into my iPhone okay file drop it into iCloud USDZ add it okay it's spinning and it seems to be spinning in the wrong way interesting drop it you can see a couple of problems right away. 
Apparently it's spinning, but it's spinning in the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna fix that. Um, yeah, and then also this object is too small. All right, so go back to our thing. Quit reflector. So interesting, the other day I must have done something correctly. This is the one that I cooked earlier. It's the it's the spin. I think the spin is in the wrong um, orientation somehow. Oh yeah, apparently I'm. I copy paste from the wrong one. It's supposed to be this one, of course. And it's a bit. It's spinning a little bit too fast. So, get back to our spinner. I tried before 360 still a little bit fast so make it a little bit faster ah just 480 up axis is Z spinning and rotate Y and the same uh, this one is supposed to be 480 and then go back to our command line We run it. Is that the? I think that's the wrong one. This one. I should give it a different color. Okay. All right. Like that. Uh. Seems like it's doing something, but uh, hopefully, yeah, still sideways, but uh, maybe it's correct now. Let me quickly check. Um, seems to be correct but it's not spinning so what's the problem let's go back okay apparently this is supposed to be rotate Y as well save it go back to our command line okay I think this should be correct now um, reflector app and I will turn on screen mirroring airdrop you can use airdrop or the iCloud sometimes it's a either way Okay. Okay, now it's working. Uh, the only one, a uh, couple of things. Okay, the scale is still wrong. We need to fix the scale. Even at a thousand per thousand percent, it's still kind of small. But you can see the uh, the AR is working. Oops, sorry. We need to fix the material. We need to fix the scale. So the scale can be fixed if we resource our Go back to our source, the OBJ. Um, so yeah, let's actually do that. Um, so with this guy selected, 3D cursor. I will actually reset the 3D cursor at 0, 0, 0. And then scale based on 3D cursor position. Scale it um, 10 times. Save. File, export. OBJ, snail spin OBJ, save it into snail spin demo, 
So snail screen dot obj. So we need we need to of course convert the obj into usdz and then go back to intermediate object and then fix all that. But there is actually an easier way. Um, I have an example, another example, where we can simply um, reference the the obj and then also reference the the material. And in this case, I have this bamboo material. Everything with the albedo, metalness, normal, roughness. So everything is already prepared. So this is the is the USDA. So it's gonna be referencing the snail. So this is an example. So there's a we still have everything the same. Transform top. Just in this part instead instead of the uh, instead of the actual data with a material binding right i just gonna change it with a proper material binding binding and then the material is now looking at this uh, pbr uh, definition or description uh, they call it usd is a universal screen description a uh, universal scene description so we have this all this description for the transform of the object uh, this one is referencing the, the snail obj and inside the snail obj we need to have like all this uh, group mesh name correctly and then with this material everything link into um, a file if we if we done everything correctly I'm gonna show you the final result open the files app this is the one I prepared earlier. So we have the snail rotating and we can simply just drop it and scale it. So 500% looks like this. So it looks pretty nice with your own 3D logo and you have, uh, if the logo is made up of multiple parts and with multiple materials, you need uh, to also assign the materials correctly in this case, it's just a basic uh, PBR of this uh, really nice uh, bamboo wood. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the basic idea how you can really use the USDZ workflow uh, as intermediate whenever you are converting uh, 3D objects. Um, this is a simple, base, uh, really, really simple example, right? Because you can have like a room with 100 objects and each object link into different materials and it gets really really kind of complex very very easily but with this method with a USD USDA and you can really um, kind of plan everything and then uh, you can have many artists working on different parts of the assets and then put everything together into a single a single um, USDZ in this case but uh, it could be anything uh, so there you go. Hopefully this is useful for you. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you.